All right, thank you very much, Connie. This time of year, many people will flock to the tanning salons in order to get that jump start on their tans for the summer months. But it's not just your skin that you need to protect. Many are unaware that tanning can actually do serious harm to their eyes. And here to tell us all about it, Dr. Laura Perrin is an optometrist with the New Society of Optometric Physicians. And she joins us in the studio this morning to talk about how to best protect our eyes and still get that perfect hand. That's so, right. Thanks for joining us it's this nice morning. It's nice to be here. I told you I had just started prepping for my vacation yes. in two weeks <laughs> and I've started tanning but I don't do the indoor, I'm outdoor. But they say, some people say that indoor tanning is actually safer in regards to your eyes. Is that true? You know, that is a common myth, actually. Um, tanning booths are no safer than any other kind of ultraviolet radiation. Uh, whether you're getting UV from the, the sun, the rays of the sun, or artificial lamps, it still can cause harm to the skin and to the eyes. And too much of one thing is probably bad, right? Absolutely. Um, also, when you talk about the different types of lamps that are used in tanning booths, um, some of the newer salons will say, well, our, our lamps are safe because they use only UVA radiation. Is um, that true? Well, the newer lamps do have more UVA than UVB. Now, UVB was present in the older salons, and that actually could cause burns. But the UVA is still, it still penetrates to the deeper okay. layers of the skin and can cause long-term damage. Well, what about your eyes, then? What are, what are some of the dangers that it poses? Well, one of the more immediate problems you can have from too much sun exposure, any kind of uh, radiation sun, or from the tanning lamps, is a burn to the cornea or the conjunctiva. And that's very painful. You would know you had a problem. Yeah, anything to the conjunctiva. Tiva is bad the stuff. conjunctiva, right? So. <laughs> it's, a it's a mouthful. But in, in any case, that's the white part of the eye. The okay. cornea is more of the clear dome over the eye. But a burn is very noticeable. There's sensitive parts of the body itself, a lot of nerve cells. Um, you would know you had a problem. You'd be tearing a lot. The vision would be blurred. Um, this is eyelid cancer. This is a little, in? yeah. This is a more long-term problem that we're seeing more of, unfortunately, in our practice. Um, and this is true for any type of radiation. You can have damage right around the eyes like that. Um, or inside the eye as well. There are more cancers internally. You say uh, one, the first step to get into that. The uh, well, I don't like the raccoon eyes, but <laughs> you know, you sometimes you have to go with it, right? <laughs> yes, you really. When you're in a tanning booth, you need to wear the UV blocking goggles, and that is. Um, <laughs> I can't even see straight with these things on. <laughs> yeah, that is one really important way to protect the eyes. It's a good look, though, right? Yeah, that is it's a good all right look. look. Yeah, don't be afraid of the goggles when you're in the tanning booths. Yeah, you should, because it's uh, right over top of the eyelids. Am I right. right in saying that the eyelids actually don't tan anyways? Right. The right? eyelid is one of the thinnest parts of, of the skin, and UV light can still penetrate um, the eyelid. And also, you're susceptible to these problems that we just saw, the picture of the, uh, the eyelid cancers. Right, and that's so. not... A good thing. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of people don't wear the goggles, and that's a big mistake. That's crazy. Yeah, just closing the eyes, just putting cotton balls on the eye is not enough to protect the and eye. And if you have a nice tanning salon, usually they offer these for sale, which they is like do. $5 or something. Yes. I don't know if you want to be using someone else's. I mean, I know they disinfect them, yeah. but still, it's paid yeah. five bucks. Right. Um, the FDA does require that san uh, tanning salon owners educate their, their customers about using the goggles in the booth, but still many choose not to. You know, make sure that if you do go to a, a salon, it is, a, you know, a reputable salon, uh, that they provide the goggles, that they have them disinfected ahead of time. Or better yet, bring your own, and then you know either that they fit properly and that they're clean. Okay, and we've got some tips up right now on protecting your eyes. Make sure the tanning bed or sun lamp is FDA regulated. Is that going to say on there, or do you ask them? Well, again, this is where going to the proper facility, uh, you're going to protect yourself a little bit better because they use updated equipment. Okay, and we've yeah. already talked about, of course, the, uh, the goggles and then making sure if you do use the ones at the salon that you uh, have them cleaned. Yes. And uh, never go tanning twice in one day. That's There's right. addicts out there. <laughs> Apparently so. Right. Yes. In our just in our private research that that I've done, just speaking with people, people will tan more than one time a day. And um, really, you're supposed to limit your sessions by the time. And the salon does make recommendations for that. Um, and also, you really don't want to tan twice in one day or even the consecutive days. So it's better to take a break. But those people like their chicken extra crispy, right? Well, I think they just wait to the last minute to get the tan before right. they're prone. Well, we're running out of time. I'm sorry, but I know there are other yeah. alternatives out right. there and you say these aren't going to turn you orange and that's right? <laughs> right, the newer uh, products actually give a nice even glow, a healthy glow and these are ways to get a tan without using any radiation at all. Right, so and this you is figure a good that idea. these have been around for like 10 years so yeah. you would hope that the yes. ones that are coming out nowadays are a lot yes. better. they've made a lot of recent improvements. So I, I told you my dilemma <laughs> when I actually used self tanning I didn't even know it, I was using it as hand lotion yes, and my right, hands turned right. orange five right. days later. And right. 
It was brought to my attention. Yeah, it's now. easy on, but but not easy <laughs> off, apparently. So you're not going to uh, have it go to your skin. Dr. Laura Pan, we thank you so much for coming in today, and uh, we hope to see you soon. And keep your uh, eyes safe out there. Right. Just as you would protect your skin, you want to protect.